Why is your hobby singing the lyrics wrong? Uh, be strong. <laughs> it's obviously softer. Okay, so I just took three sips. They were very small. Oh gosh, that looked ugh. I just took these aren't normal nails. Three sips of um some C4. You gotta use the other hand. I took three sips of the C4 on the go explosive energy and performance pink lemonade. I haven't taken C4 in a very long time, or any pre-workout that is. So let's see how this works, because usually it makes me like, kind of over like stimulated. So today we're hitting arms and shoulders. Ain't that right, babe? Shoulders and arms, I like to say. But same, same <laughs> thing, that's what we're doing. Let's get it. Oh, <laughs> did my armpit? Let's get it. Outfit of the day. Boom, bands. Boom, Lululemon leggings. Psych! <laughs> 90 degree reflex leggings. <laughs> 90 degree by reflex leggings. These bad boys were like $23. E. And a Forever 21 top, which was like three. <laughs> Take a walk someday Dream about what we could have been I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn Yeah so If I move out one day It will make me a better man Without your meal I don't wanna leave this place sorry, sorry. No faith in Brooklyn yeah. I said I'm so gone Oh my God, where the menu? Order me all your sushi for them bitches at the venue Stop, drop, roll, continue Cause they just trying to mingle And I'm just trying to sing you a song Tell you that I'm leaving but I won't be long If it was up to me, I would see you tomorrow But talk's cheap, so I'm paying up New kicks be the only way I'm laying up So maybe I won't make it as an athlete But that don't mean to let the competition pass me I'm Moneyball, Billy Bean, and some skinny jeans And the whole damn team, just some mini-me's Cause they ain't seen another kid like this It's on your mind, baby, you should probably write this I told her I can dance good for a white kid So turn around, show me everything I might miss we should take a walk someday Dream about what we could have been But I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn so if I move out one day It will make me a better man but I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn Repetition, rep for repetition like a muscle man You just wanna tie me up, snap me like a rubber band It's 2012 so now they wanna ask me what's the plan I tell them never trust a man unless he whistle brands Pass me all the absent, for now watch me change my accent I got girls on the back of the mattress, you got girls on the map like that's it uh, They wanna know, am I Jay Sean or Raekwon? Good Sean or Great Sean? Stay long or Great Sean? Nah, either way they try to stay for your dreams I tell them keep your eyes open, you won't like what you see They be here for a minute, now they're gone in a week You tryna to to the peak, I'm tryna to Andre the beat Lord, can you tell me where my faith is? I graduated and I still ain't made the A-list It ain't a problem if you tell me Yeah. 
I never ever do. <laughs> sucky clap let's try that again how insane was that workout I mean if you didn't try it you don't really know how insane it is but once you do you will be sore and you will have a killer pump at the gym and those are promises you can take that to the bank you know maybe you shouldn't take it to the bank I mean if you do they won't really know what to do with it you won't get any money reimbursed or anything like that but you know you could take it to the bank because that is a promise so there's something that I wanted to talk about before I end this video and that is something that I've put on my most recent Instagram caption um if you follow me that's great if you don't what are you doing go ahead and do that now my social media will be somewhere in this corner I always forget which one but something that I wanted to touch on is that very often we get caught up in trends. I mean, it's kind of inevitable. We live our lives on social media. I mean, even if we don't spend every single second on social media, social media has become a pretty big part in our lives and we can't really do anything about that. That's just the future. It's happening. We need to get on board, sadly. I mean, to be honest with you, we could have been stuck in the Nintendo GameCube days and I would have been perfectly fine with that. But what you're gonna do, society's moving along. We need to hurry up with it. But back to the subject, um, it's very easy to get caught up in what everybody else is doing because everybody is sharing what they're doing on social media. It's really easy to kind of lose sight of your own goals and your own things that you want to achieve. I mean, this happened to me as well. Um, I stopped working out my upper body because everybody else seemed to stop working out their upper body for some reason because, you know, glutes are the number one thing in right now. You open up your Instagram and what do you see? Glutes, 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 glute workout, booty workout, crazy thumbnail involving twerking on a basu ball for views. I mean, then there's more glutes, more glutes, more glutes, more glutes. I'm, I'm at fault for this. I do that as well and I'm, I'm apologizing, but, um, I am done. I am done only working my glutes. I am done with the whole only glute, no thigh workout because personally, for me, that's not what I wanted to achieve initially. And because of social media, because of what literally everybody else is doing, it got to my head that I should only be focusing on glutes and that's it. I mean, why? But yeah, social media kind of has a way of steering us into different directions, changing our opinions, maybe even changing our goals. And I feel like I had that wake up call. I mean, maybe you don't need that wake up call like I did, but maybe you do. I mean, if you want to train upper body, do it. I mean, I want some sexy arms. I really do. I want some nice shoulders. I want some nice rounded shoulders. I want a nice hourglass figure. So I'm going to work out my back. You know, I want, I honestly want some killer quads, even though that's not in my genetics. I want some killer quads. So I'm going to work for them. I am done. D O N E done. If you like doing cardio, I mean, I know a lot of people hate doing cardio. I am one of those people. I I always hated it because I feel like when I run, I feel like my throat is on fire. It's gasping for air. I feel like my lungs are collapsing and my side starts cramping. But you don't have to be like me. That's just what I prefer. I prefer not doing any cardio at all. If you like doing cardio, if it is your stress relief, if you really enjoy it, then do it. Why focus on what I'm doing? Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm this weird loser that you're watching through your computer or phone screen. Do you. Make yourself happy. If you want to train upper body, train upper body. If you want to neglect your glutes completely because that's just not what you want to do, then do it. Don't do anything for the likes. Don't do anything for the views. If you want to gain weight, if you want to lose weight, if you want to maintain weight, do it. If you enjoy the basic bread and butter movements 
for your lifts, then go ahead and do so. You don't have to do a backflip landing into a split while on a squat rack with some other guy squatting you and then on a basu ball and then hula hooping your way over to the treadmill. You don't have to do any of that. Honestly, you really don't. And honestly, I would encourage you not to. Like number one, for your safety. And number two, for your pride. Just don't, don't do that. Long ran short, there's no right way to do fitness. You don't have to follow what I'm doing, what any Fitzbo's doing, what any bodybuilder's doing, what your best friend's doing, what your mom's doing. Do what you want to do, do what makes you happy. Just be happy and healthy. You know what I'm saying? Stop following trends. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to focus on this glute movement that's happening now. If you want to do something, do it for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it for likes, don't do it for views, don't do it because anybody else is doing it. Just really kind of take some time to think what you want your goals to be. So yeah, okay, I'm done. If you wanna do this arm workout, do it. It's great. Um, maybe don't, you know, honestly, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna put my arm down because it's not big whatsoever and I'm embarrassing myself. I'll just, I'll just place an arm here that's really muscular. If you tried this workout, let me know. Let me know how you liked it. Bring a friend along to the gym if they wanna come with you. Do this with them. Let me know how it worked for you guys. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it, I already know. So, I mean, you don't have to let me know if you love it. I already know you will, so. But I mean, anyways, feedback's always appreciated. So comment down below, remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.